how to lure squirrels into bait boxes with the shooter with no hands, Jamie Chandler, plus using thermal on rabbits with Darren Rogers, plus hot air airgun news, plus air streaming. Welcome to Airheads. If you go down to the woods today, you will find our hands-free hunter, Jamie Chandler. He's not here for a teddy bear's picnic, oh no. He's here to sort out a pesky squirrel problem. They have been ravaging his nuts. The pheasants are growing fast, and soon they will be taking flying lessons. Meanwhile, getting nice and fat for the winter are these grey, greedy tree rats. It's not just about saving money on the pheasant food. Farmers and landowners are ordered by the government and asked very nicely by the Forestry Commission to keep on top of the ever-growing grey population. This not only puts a break on them wiping out the dwindling native red squirrels, but also stops damaging trees, crops, wild birds and also Jamie's nuts. To make sure that the job is done, Farmer Tom has come along too. This wood has to be maintained. It's, you know, that's what we've got to do. And that includes squirrel control. It is an important part of any bit of countryside management. As they settle down between the trees and the rain showers, let's answer a viewer's question. Just a, a bit of a, an answer to a question I got from a guy called Cameron in New Zealand. He sent me a Facebook message saying, do we require camouflage in the summer in England? I don't know is the simplest answer. I don't know what you think, Tom. I've got no idea. But to find out whether we require it or not, as you can see, we're barely camouflaged. We're both almost wearing identical outfits, although Tom's is much smarter. And um, we're 21, I think it is, 21 yards, maybe 22, away from the feeder over there, and pretty much in broad daylight. I mean, yes, I've got a camo cap on, but that's because it's the only one in the car. So Cameron, we're going to find out. If we get some squirrels, then no, we don't need camouflage. If we don't get some squirrels, then yes, we do need camouflage. What I do know is in the winter, yes, you do, especially with pigeons and stuff. In the summer, well, certainly with pigeons, but with squirrels, don't know, we'll find out. Well, I hope that clears that up. No? Well, what about this? Well, that one didn't see them, but he knows that something isn't right, and he's back only in a few minutes to try his luck again. Sitting quietly, even without camouflage, sometimes grants odd rewards, like seeing this young family of deer popping through the woods only metres away. Back to the squirrels, and now there are two. But the last one still tries his luck. Another brilliant afternoon and dodging showers as well. So lucky with the weather, so lucky. It was throwing it down this morning. It really was, yeah. it really was. So uh, Cameron from New Zealand's question, to be honest with you mate, today it made no difference, did it? No difference at all. Yeah, um, we could have been out there in, in bright yellow mankinis and I think the squirrels still came in. They had no interest in, in us being there. The deer, obviously that came snuggling through, didn't see us at all until we kind of made it obvious you're there. That fox, there was a fox, we didn't catch it on camera, but wow, that was seven yards from us chasing that, that pheasant? Yeah. That, yeah. Was, that was amazing, I haven't actually seen that. No, that was, that was, it was quite something actually. Yeah. Countryside stewardship. Protected, done a little bit, done yeah. our part today. Uh, protecting your shoot. Done a lot more, yeah. yeah. Keeping your grumpy keeper happy. <laughs> Never ending battle. <laughs> <laughs> Winners, <laughs> thank you very much. Brilliant. Superb. Thank you, Jamie and Tom. Now from Graze on the Nuts to a Nut on the News, it's David with Hot Air. This is Hot Air. A member of the Scottish Parliament has slammed the introduction of new air gun licensing as chaotic. 
Dumfrieshire MSP Oliver Mundell says gun owners in the region have been left in a state of uncertainty and many don't know if they're breaking the law. Around 12,000 air weapons have been handed in so far for destruction. There are an estimated half a million air guns in Scotland. A New York financier who owns Gamo and BSA has bought Daisy. Bruckman, Rosser, Sherrill and Co, known as BRS, has acquired air gun maker Daisy Outdoor Products. Founded in 1886, Daisy makes youth air guns and accessories. British air gunners Alistair Pearce and Olivia Manson have each won an MPR Sporter Rifle, donated by Air Arms. They're the under-18 champions at the British Shooting National Target Sprint Series final. They completed three 400-metre running stages and knocked down five targets in each of the two 10-metre air rifle shooting stages using the Air Arms MPR Sporter in the fastest times. Harbour officials at Whitehaven have had to defend feral pigeon control with air guns after a passerby complained. The birds are being shot with an air gun on Whitehaven Harbour as part of a hygiene clampdown in the town to help the local fish and shellfish industry. American TV has taken a leaf out of the YouTube book. There is now a TV show in the USA called Build Your Own Air Gun. Tom Gaylord, Tyler Patner and Rick Ward join Rossi Muriel to take a look at the new Zombie Slayer kit. It's a build-it-yourself air gun that uses a drop-free magazine and reloadable cartridges and the show is on the Pursuit channel. Larry Large is back in town. The Texan air gunner we covered on Airheads recently made some press when he shot a rogue zebu bull. The aggressive farm animal from Groveton, Texas has put several hog and deer hunters up trees in the last two years. He used a 45 cal Air Force Texan air rifle about 20 seconds after this photo was taken. Crossman's Benjamin Pioneer Airbow might have captured the imagination of air gunners, but it's fallen foul of the American Archery Trade Association. The ATA accused Crossman of not paying a tax towards conservation efforts required by bow companies. Crossman denies this, even though pneumatic weapons are exempt from the tax. Another method of shooting arrows from an air gun has come to market. Air Venturi introduces the Air Bolt, a 430 grain carbon fibre bolt that may be used in any 50 calibre PCP air rifle with a barrel 22 inches or longer. Available in the US, bolts cost nearly £20 each. And finally, a squirrel appears to ask for help as it tries to escape a fox. A series of pictures by Mark Mason Gardner from London shows the squirrel and the fox, the squirrel wondering what to do and then the squirrel knocking on the window as if asking for help. You are now to date with Hot Air, aiming for accuracy, targeting the truth. Thank you David. Next up, turn out the lights because Darren Rogers doesn't need them. We are out with our master of the dark places, Darren Rogers, as he looks to put his thermal sights to the test. He has to tackle a rabbit problem on a farmer's field. Armed with his FX Impact air gun, he is prepping it specifically for tonight's shoot. This rifle is an absolute tinkerer's dream. It is so easy to switch barrels. Um, you need one Allen key to change the probe. Everything else is just with these thumb wheels. Um, and everything on it is adjustable. So you can adjust regulated pressure by altering an Allen key in here. You've got hammer spring tension here, which gives you further adjustment. And then you've also got your main power adjuster here. So in theory, it's infinitely adjustable. So you can fine tune any pellet. So if you want a pellet to run at 864 feet per second, for example, you can make sure it runs at 864 feet per second every shot. Or if you want it 900 feet per second, it is such an easy gun to, to manipulate and change for your own preferences. Right, I've got pellets, got a magazine. What I always like to do is we're just going to nip out, check zero before we load up and go kill some bunnies. I'm determined to get this one that wants to eat me. Gotcha. I won't eat me anymore. So as you can see, two minutes spent on the range, we're now spot on zero. So 
It's only down to me now, I've got no excuses for missing. With the Optics Identifier 60 thermal sight on top of the Gator, we can see more than your average night shooter. And we can even see why there is a lack of rabbits in parts of the fields. Some of the little cat. Obviously out catching mice and voles and chasing young rabbits around. And it doesn't take long before Darren is putting the FX and the thermal sight to work as he bags his first rabbit of the night. So all I use the spot of thermal for is just to give me a heat source. I said we saw there was a rabbit there. I can't shoot this because there's a neighbouring property behind there and the boundary finishes there so I dare take a shot. But this is one of the beauties with thermal. Is as soon as you see a rabbit, you get the heat source and there it is. The site is picking up rabbits in the distance that cannot be seen with the naked eye. This is where thermal is a lifesaver. Where the grass is long in here, you can see a nice beautiful right between the ear and the eye. A classic headshot. But we'd have never found that without the thermal. Right hand rabbit, yeah. After a successful night, we turn in. Fantastic night. That was uh, everything was against us. The grass was too long. Weather's been against us all day, but yeah, the quality of that FX impact in 2.5 was just superb. For more about FX air guns, go to a-s-i.co.uk. Ace work by Darren there. Now to the wider world of air gunning on YouTube. It is air streaming. Charlie Jacoby here, this is my roundup of the best air gunning on YouTube. Lots about farm pest control this week. After the last episode of humdinging African hunting with our own Rich Leonard, the remarkable Air Arms Hunting SA is back to starlings. Speedy American style pest control on the farm here. Air Guns of Arizona is taking the Brocock Compato bullpup to a dairy to knock off pest birds. And Carl Smith is on the farm, it's all the rage, hunting a mixed bag with a day state airwolf and another Brocock Compato. Another member of the Smith clan, Izzy Liam Smith, is air gun hunting a mixed bag around a farm. Pellet Power is back on his rounds after Feather and Fur. He is using an AGT Vulcan in 2.5 calibre. Moving to the US, Tafaz Fu starts this film with useful info about tethering your air gun to a tank before hitting the jackrabbits and ground squirrels. Pyramid Air has a review of the new ish Gamo Hornet Maxim, an entry level brake barrel that's loaded with more acronyms and proprietary technology than a fighter jet they claim a bit wildly, but they are trying to flog them. And finally, a fairy tale, says Air Gun Gear Show. It is the Day State Griffin official launch video, and it has a happy ever after. Links to watch the videos are in this film's description. If you would like to send in a video for air streaming, ping me the link charlie at fieldsportschannel.tv. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. We're back in a month. We'll see you then.